Hello, welcome to the Mark Janot Show, the cybersecurity show. There is this hypervisor exploit, right? That's taking the world by storm right now. And I'm gonna break it down in this video. I'm gonna give you a little overview about Xbox exploits for the non-technical people. And then we're gonna get right into the nitty gritty. So without further ado, let's get right into it. We're going dark. So Xbox is a brand of home, you know, video game consoles, applications, and online services developed by Microsoft, primarily used for playing video games, streaming, you know, media, and online multiplayer gaming. So Xbox consoles serve several main functions, whether it's video game playing. Please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. Please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. Users can play digitally downloaded or physical um, disc based games, including exclusive titles and major franchises. There's on also online connectivity, uh, you know, abilities, right? The Xbox network, formerly Xbox Live, enables online multiplayer gaming, digital game purchases, and content sharing between players worldwide. There's media streaming, so many Xbox consoles provide access to apps for streaming platforms and media playback. There's community features like the Xbox app and built-in social features that allow players to chat, share game clips and interact with gaming communities their subscription services so xbox game pass offers access to a wide library of games for a monthly fee while xbox cloud gaming enables you know game streaming on various devices that's xbox an exploit is basically a com you know a computer security in a uh, program it's a piece of code or a sequence of commands that takes advantage of a vulnerability or security flaw in software hardware or network systems to cause unintended behavior or gain unauthorized access so exploits are not the vulnerability itself but the actual method of or tool used to carry out an attack. Attackers, you know, use exploits to install malware, access sensitive data, escalate privileges, or, you know, take control of systems outright. Exploits can target various types of vulnerabilities, including those found in operating systems, applications, hardware, or even personnel via social engineering. So the key points you want to take to this, right, in, in regards to exploits is, you know, there are types, right, including the zero day, you know, that targets unknown vulnerabilities and public exploits that target, you know, public known vulnerabilities with available patches. There are exploit kits that automate the process and are commonly used by cyber criminals to distribute malware across devices. After an exploit is published and the vulnerability is patched, systems not updated remain vulnerable to attack. Exploiting vulnerabilities can have serious consequences such as mass ransomware outbreaks like the WannaCry via the internal blue exploit. So that's exploit, that's Xbox. Let's get into the nitty gritty. So the Xbox 360 hypervisor exploit known as the bad update exploit involves a complex multi-stage attack chain leveraging a game save exploit which is notably in the Tony Hawk's American wasteland to gain hypervisor mode code execution. So this exploit includes a game save exploit triggers control of the execution, a first stage ROP that's return oriented programming chain that loads subsequent payload stages a critical stage involves exploiting a whitened value collision in the lzx decoder used by the hypervisor's bootloader update me uh, mechanism there are two threads that work in tandem there's one running the malicious payload the other monitoring cipher text uh, for the collision to overwrite a pointer in memory to redirect the code execution into hypervisor code the final stages undo temporary memory corruption, patch out RSA signature checks on executables, and allow running unsigned code on the console. So the exploit code is complex and involves both C and assembly with detailed stages chained together. Now, as an example, stage three focuses on hypervisor code execution by manipulating memory corruption via the bootloader update payload. Because this is a highly advanced and secure sensitive exploit, full source code snippets or, you know, exploit payload, uh, payloads, you know, are not generally shared freely. You know, they, they trying to, they trying to like keep things kind of in house, but, 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 
you know, partial code can be found in public write-ups, you know, such as, you know, hacking, you know, the Xbox 360 Hypervisor Part 2, the bad update exploit blog detailing the research exploit chain and code aspects, the GitHub repository, the Grim Doomer slash the Expo, uh, Xbox 360 bad update that hosts the public project with exploit details and code files. A, there's a small, uh, you know, illustrative snippet from the exploit concept that includes the manipulation of the L zx decoders pointer after detecting a ciphertext collision right and i have you know i have i have a little bit of that right here you know what i'm saying they they try to make it hard for your boy to get the well, I, I got the code i got the text peter please put that code on the screen and let it marinate for him peter let it marinate for him so the race condition and whitening collision allow redirecting execution flow into hypervisor memory which normally cannot be accessed or modified by user code so for any, you know, if you want a, a deep technical, you know, details or the actual code, you know, you can go on GitHub Wiki or blog posts that provide, you know, even more extensive. Now, to use the Xbox 360 hypervisor exploit, uh, you're going to want to follow these steps, right? The requirements, you need an Xbox 360 running dashboard version, uh, 17559, which is a USB stick formatted to FAT32, and one of the supported games to trigger the exploit right again we talked about the tony hawks uh you know american wastelands or the rock band blitz then you have to prepare a usb stick download the xbox 360 bad update exploit files copy the contents of the corresponding games folder like tony hawks american wasteland or rock band blitz onto the root of the usb stick place your unsigned executable which is the payload to run inside the bad update payload folder on the usb stick name default.xex this executable must be in retail format with restrictions removed then you have to run the exploit so insert the usb stick into your xbox 360 power on the xbox you know 360 and sign into the player one profile or any offline profile for you know rock band blitz then launch the game to trigger the exploit you have to follow in-game instructions to load the hacked save file. The console's ring of light, the ROL, will flash various colors indicating progress. Now, once it's fully green, the exploit succeeded and unsigned code will run. You're going to have to have some patience, though. The exploit is based on a race condition with roughly a 30% success rate and can take up to 20 minutes or more to trigger successfully. So if it doesn't trigger within that time, power off and try again. Now, if you're one of those people that's kind of like, oh, how do I protect myself? How do I protect myself? To protect yourself against the current Xbox 360 hypervisor exploit, you know, you're going to want to take some very effective measures and ensure that your console is up to date and, you know, basically and basically avoid running unsigned or suspicious game saves and USB payloads on your device. So the key protection, you know, tip strategies, whatever you want to use or call it, is keep your Xbox 360 updated. So Microsoft's hypervisor has strong security features and most successful hacks exploit outdated or unpatched system vulnerabilities. So don't run unsigned executables or suspicious game files, uh, you know, save game files, right? Suspicious game save uh, files obtained from unreliable sources especially those claimed to trigger exploits such as the bad update do not connect usb drives with files not sourced from unofficial channels or ones recommended for running exploits these are primary attack vectors for the latest software only hacks you want to monitor the security community for alerts on new vulnerabilities as the bad update exploit affects some of the latest versions and might be patched by future Microsoft updates. So the exploit usually requires user interaction to install specific game saves and USB payloads, meaning accidental infection is unlikely unless users allow the instructions for the hack. The hypervisor has multiple hardware and software integrity checks, so only deliberately bypassed or manipulated systems are susceptible. There is no evidence that remote or network-based compromise of the hypervisor is possible without user intervention or physical access. Some additional things to keep in mind, if your device might already be affected, right? Like you see unauthorized software running or unusual LED ring activity. You want to disconnect the console from the network and device storage and consider factory resetting or updating the system firmware. 
For enterprise or shared devices, you wanna restrict USB access and only allow games and updates from unofficial, uh, unofficial, no, from official, not unofficial, from official sources. So that's what I have for you today. Please take a moment right now to hit that subscribe button and like button. If you like this video and you want more videos like this, please let me know that by hitting that subscribe button and the like button right now. I appreciate your viewership. Stay safe and see you on the next video.